All right, next thing we're looking at is sending seller reports. And these are really cool um, if you want to get kind of advanced. I mean, it's not even that advanced, but it's just great information that you don't even have to pull or do any research on. It automatically generates for you, and you can send this. So this is be somebody who is possibly looking at selling a home, and you want to kind of entice them or get them um, thinking about selling their home. So sending seller reports. So from your profile here, again, just go to your new lead to go to your dashboard. And then I'll cycle through here. And actually, what you'd want to do then is click on contacts. And I could have done that right from the main control panel too. But and then once you click on contacts, it has this seller's market report. You click on that, and then what you do is you're going to type. So I'm, I've met this client who's looking at selling their home. So I want to give them some good information about that. So I can go to name. I'm going to go with um, Jane Seller. And listing type, she's a single family home. And my area, you can do by um, city, you can also do by zip code. So I'm going to do 55906, bedrooms to baths to estimated price 150. And so those are the criteria because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to choose three listings that are similar to this to be able to print and give to her, or I can simply email it. So I hit continue. The email is selected. The email is required. Well, okay. I should have typed that in. All right. So Calvin Morgan at KW. So if you choose email, you have to put an email address in there. Hit continue. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go out to the, the MLS, as long as you have all of your um, EDs set up, your IDX. And then it's going to pull up these properties. And I can hover over here and get a preview of the homes. And I can send her a little seller report on these three homes or any three homes I choose here. So I'm going to choose... Um, that one is close to hers, got the same stuff as hers, four and two. Got another four and two in that same price range. And here's another one. I can only choose three. But then I hit continue. And then what it's going to do, and obviously my site's not that busy, I'm not an agent, but it's going to give them the information about these three homes that are on the market. It's going to say how many people have looked at them in the last three months, and I struck out on this one, I apologize, but you can see if people have been looking at it, it sends them the information, it talks to you about the stuff that you're going to do to these people, um, to, these, to, to, to their home if they list it with you, and all you have to do is hit send, and I'll show you how it looks. So I hit send, sent successful, I go to my Gmail, and I go to my mail, and there it is, I display the information. Actually, that's the test one I did before. I see the new one just came in, and it should be right there for Jane Seller. So it says two bedroom, two bath, 150 potential advertising. Here we go. Comparable properties to yours, market promise, email campaigns, personal touch, home listing, syndication to these sites as well. But it gives them some good information about selling their home automatically generated for you.